so has a snag. That's what you get when the water's a little low out here. Pull that tight. Give it a little swirl five, six times. That's what we call the fisherman's knot. And you feed it back through the little hole that you make and then tie her tight. And then I just go over a couple times with a regular knot on top. And then we do the same thing with the sinker. Homemade sinkers. I've got a mold for them and a bunch of lead that I use. Feed it through, twist it about six times, beat it through, tighten it up, and then a couple of regular knots on top. Nothing fancy here. Tight. We'll grab our hook. And we put our worm on. I put it through once, hook it through again, and again, and again. Some people like to just slip it right on. I do not because the shithead will suck it, right? Use the ground as my rag. So then our, our rig looks like that. So that your sinker sits on the bottom. And just dangles in the current and entices those fishies. This tree is a pain in my butt. I don't have to come out with the clippers and get rid of some of the branches. And we just let it sink to the bottom. Pull up and down a couple of times, tighten the line up, and stick it on the pole. And we beat some fish. My brother made that stand for me. It's got a nice base to it. Uh, we needed them with bases because a lot of the places I fish, especially my ramp, is all cement so usually they come and you can stick it in the ground it's just a nice peaceful evening out here know the fish are out because I was pulling up and I seen the neighbor throwing a big one back. The neighbor's out fishing too. And there's a little nibble. Cracks me up sometimes. My cousin will come out here and fish with me. Or Michelle's dad. And he pulls back the pole so quick, it's like I always got a joke with him. I said, Well, you probably just ripped the lips right off of that one. <laughs> Is 
I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'll bring you back on when I have a fish on. God, I gotta get some editing.